Hi guys, Blue Monday's back for a brand new video, a short blurry hunt around Uxbridge. We're going to hit up HMV, CEX and a few Poundland stores and a charity shop or two. Um, not many new titles out today but still going to hunt. Uh, haven't been to Uxbridge in a long time so yeah, so it should be some new stuff. Um, if you didn't check out the last video with the new Die Disc series and leave a comment. Um, to get yourself involved in the series, yeah, go check that out. Leave a like on this one and let's get on to the footage. Right, first stop HMV. Uh, got the new releases wall, but no sign of today's titles Critters Attack and Flight of the Navigator. They do have Alien 499 many purchase. What? Well, oh, maybe not anymore. Um, the reduction bin is full of DVDs, which is not what we like to see. But uh, they have got Mamma Mia, uh, pretty bleak. Um, so next we're at Pound Man and oh my god, I've never seen anything like it. I kid you not, there must be hundreds of Blu-rays. And yes, we have finally found Public Enemies in Steelbook. Get in. Anyway, I've been trying to find this one for a long, long time. Um, still quite a few more generic uh, T2 train, stopping, train spotting there. Um, North versus the South, I've never seen this before. Um, yeah, that's an odd title. Uh, South of a Slip. A lot of repeated titles we've seen. I haven't seen this one, though. Endless Love. Probably not a very good film. Um, got that Hercules again with that really nice slip cover. What's this one? No, nothing. Um, Taken to the Slip. Uh, Cloverfield, not a bad film. A lot of repeated titles here. These aren't the new ones, but there's honestly about seven boxes. Um, so, I've got those to look through. Uh, more repeated titles that we've seen everywhere. But wow, have you ever seen this many Blu rays in Powerland? Because I certainly haven't. It goes on and on. Uh, a few more train spottings there, really nice. Slipcover. First box and another one I've been trying to find. Life. Wow. Finally got it with a really nice slip. There are two of them there. Um, a street cat named Bob. Um, got a few others in there. Hateful Eight with that really nice slip. Got that one already. Don't Breathe. Great title. I haven't seen this one before either. Fast and Furious 7, that nice slip. Um, but yeah. Ghostbusters following us around at the moment. I haven't seen this one in here before though. And Hereditary again. Some good titles in this pound land. More train spotting. Um, Monster House in 3D. That's a good film. Good 3D title. Ninja Tales, brand new. And um, Dog Days. Never seen this one before either. Definitely getting some new titles. Now onto the next pound land. Um, this one is only a little one. And this has just got loads of old titles. <laughs> Bad mums, God. When are we going to stop seeing that? I've uh, got Kickboxer with a nice slip cover there. Uh, Planet of the Apes. Adorn the Planet of the Apes, sorry. But no slip cover. And on to CX. A very, very big Blu ray selection, this CX. Um, done it differently. Normally it's just A to Z, but they've done all like kids and animation films all together. Uh, Lion King with a nice slip cover. I was hoping to get a free, few 3D titles, but no slip covers on the Disney ones. Um, some nice 4Ks, wicked uh, Thor Ragnarok, Thor Ragnarok slip, as well as the Infinity War. The Marvel slip covers 4K are lovely. Um, a nice Jurassic Park 4K box set, and this Annihilation slip cover is really, really nice. Um, life. Just found this on Blu-ray. Open. I've been looking for that for a while. Not bad for ten pounds, really. And Planet Earth, Planet Earth Two, 4K um, box set. Not too much else. Wreck It Ralph, the slipcover there. Yeah, unusual of how they've uh, set the films. Lego Movie Two. I'm trying to find that in 3D. All right then. Now let's get on to the pickups. So, uh, big selection CEX. Very good CEX. Um, they had quite a few still books, 
um, but not on the shelves. They had them put away, so you couldn't really get any uh, footage of them. But picked up four titles, um, so let's get through them. Um, first one, Saw 2. Um, I've seen the first the first Saw, uh, quite enjoyed it. It's not amazing, but it's um, it's, it's enjoyable to watch. Um, not a bad series of films. I mean, I've only seen the first one, so I picked up the second one. Uh, one pound, not a bad deal. So they also had Saw 3 uh, for a pound as well. So happy to add these to the collection and get through them. Um, I don't know too much about the other Saw films, but give them a go, especially for a pound each. Um, next, I got um, R.I.P.D. with Ryan Reynolds, um, 3D title. Never heard of this film before. One pound fifty for a 3D film. I'm always going to pick it up. Um, doesn't sound too bad. I'm guessing it's probably even quite bad, but um, yeah, give it a try. One pound fifty. Why not? And the last title. Um, I've never heard this film. Triple Nine. Um, looks really good, some really nice art, comes in a really nice black case, that does look really good with a black case. Um, really like the sound of this film, um, the reviews aren't amazing, but for 150 I thought I'd give it a try, why not. It's got Anthony Mackie, the Falcon, uh, from the MCU, it's also got, um, I can't remember his name, guy from Walking Dead with the crossbow, yeah, I can't remember his name. Um, so yeah, it, doesn't, it looks good, we'll give it a try, why not. Um, not too much from CEX, like I said, but some decent pickups there add to the collection. Now, Poundland. Now, you see, all the, the first Poundland was awful. Uh, it was only a little Poundland, but the second one, wow. Like I've never seen a wider selection of Blu-rays in any Poundland um, ever. I've never seen anyone put like photos of, like the of that many Blu-rays in a pound, I've never seen anything like it. I think they had about seven boxes of Blu-rays as well. Um, so the first one was T2 Train Spotting. I've seen this film, really enjoyed it. I don't own it on Blu-ray though, so to get it um, with, although this says pre-owned for purposes, this does look brand new. Um, still like it's, it's back in the seal, I think. But really nice slip cover, two pounds. Can't go wrong. Uh, great film. Look forward to be watching that. Right now. Um, been after this one for a while. Life um, with Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Ryan Reynolds. Heard some really good things about it. I've seen everyone get this in Poundland, and I haven't been able to find it. Um, yeah, really nice slip on this one. Um, I don't think the camera does this justice, but it's 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 like it's a nice map, but and it's got like. It's got, it's like glossy as well. I don't know. It's, um, I haven't really seen anything like this material, but yeah, really looking forward to watching this one. I haven't watched it. I heard some good things about it. That's on my uh, list to watch soon. And finally, another one I have been trying to hunt down. It's Public Enemies on, I want to say a still book, but if you look closely, I don't know if you can see, there's actually hinges compared to, let's say, a normal still book. <laughs> Um, it is different so yeah I'm not sure what this is actually defined as but um, yes yeah, some really nice art never seen the film um, so looking forward to watching this but finally happy to pick this up but now it is just mental uh, the Poundland are doing a new steel book um, I've seen a few I've seen like Pixels and Avatar in, it's actually crazy the titles that they're getting it is really great uh, when you can find them like I've been struggling to but um, yeah unbelievable Poundland there was quite a few more that I could have picked up but I don't know I wasn't they weren't like screaming out at me to, so um, yeah um, that's it for the video hope you enjoyed stay tuned for more content the Dire Discs first episode is coming soon hope you enjoyed the video leave a like and comment and I'll see you in the next one